Now we want the words to be. And the words to be are in shot 20 take 3, I believe. Yes, shot 20 take 3. So let's go here. Shift apostrophe. There it is. Oh, there's shot 20 take 3. I'm going to double click on it. And I'm going to hit play. Remember, I want the words to be. And I'm actually going to hit L twice to go fast. Oh, there it is right there. I hit K to stop. Now I'm going to back up slowly. I'm going to do that by holding down the K and then holding down J. Oh, too far. I'm going to hold down the K and uh, hit the L and see if I can get the words to be. Whoop, I didn't go far enough. I'm going to uh, back up the J. There it is right there. Okay, I'm starting to say to be. I'm going to use the left arrow. Maybe I'll look at the sound wave right here. To be. Perfect. That's it right there. To be. Let's have a listen. To be. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to put it right there. Hit the letter I for in. And I'm going to actually, I'm not even going to listen. I'm just going to move my playhead right here. And I'm going to hit the letter. Uh, maybe I might get a little bit more here just to have a let's see whether or not I can finish off the E. The letter O for out. Now let's have a listen to it. Command or option K. To be. Oh, too much. Too much. So I, I went too far. I'm going to use the left arrow to get into it a little, shave off a little bit, back up a bit, hit the letter O to resize it, option K to listen. To be. Excellent, there it is right there. I'm gonna go back to the video by clicking on this guy and I'm going to show you a little trick. Now, the playhead is here at the end and I can drag it over and say overwrite if I want, but another thing that I can do so I can also just drag this down in here. Now, there is a problem when you drag this in here. Sometimes you, can, you accidentally get empty space. Best thing that I would suggest is make sure that the snap in timeline is turned on because then that helps you snap it, boom, into place like that. See how it's snapped into place? That's really good, okay? The other thing that you can do is you can delete empty spaces. Watch this. I click in the empty space and I hit the delete key. Boom. And it deletes the empty space. Now, let's have a listen. Hit the home key to go back to the beginning and space bar. I always wanted to be. That's not bad. Ooh, there's a little bit at the end there. That little click, you hear that? I don't really like that. I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. See, I grab this little, little dot and I pull it actually right to the left. I have totally zoomed in. And do you see this little, little bit of sound right on the very end? That part is what's causing that click. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I am going to pick this razor blade tool. I'm gonna click it. And then I'm going to, you'll notice that because I'm zoomed in so much, it's actually showing me that this is the, this is the next frame to the left. And I'm gonna slice it with the razor blade tool. Sometimes it depends on your settings. You have to slice both the video and the audio, right? And then I'm gonna pick the move tool again. And I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna hit the delete key. Boom, there it is. I've now got rid of that little click. I'm gonna zoom back out so I can see all three of my clips. All right, I'm gonna hit the home key and let's have a listen. I always wanted to be. No more click, isn't that great? Another thing I wanna show you, moving around in your timeline can be easily done with the up and down arrow. Watch this. 
Okay, if I hit the up arrow, it takes me exactly to the next edit. Same with the up arrow right here. I hit up again, takes me to the next edit. If I hit the down arrow, it takes me to the, uh, to the edit to the right. So up arrow takes you to the next edit to the left. Down arrow takes you to the next edit to the right. That's really handy going back and forth in your stuff.